Now, a few weeks into our flood season, Montana political leaders are getting an up-close look at some of the damage and toured areas impacted by flooding. MTN's Lauren Heiser was with our Montana leaders on today's tour, and she joins us now live in the studio with the latest. Lauren? Thanks, Kent. Both Danes and Gianforte said it was important for them to see the damage firsthand. They said today's tour gives them the tools to better advocate for Montanans. I found that the uh, administration has been responsive to requests that have come from our office, um, but we need a strong voice in Washington speaking up for Montana. They don't always understand our way of life back there. Uh, they didn't understand with the fires last fall, and here we have to make sure we take this message of the, uh, the potential disaster from flooding uh, to make sure that we have the resources available. They toured an area near the intersection of 3rd and Stone Street. There they received briefings from the Weather Service and were able to talk one-on-one -on -one with officials about the situation. Dane said he was impressed by the work that Montanans have done in such a difficult time. Uh, everybody puts politics aside for a moment. We all focused right now on, on protecting the structures, protecting families, protecting life. Uh, and uh, just so proud to see Montana coming together, Missoula coming together here with 1,800 volunteers and over 100,000 sandbags. 